the most unfashionable teams in the basketball league and that's the Illawarra Hawks. Being unfashionable though certainly hasn't stopped them from being successful. The Hawks have been finalists for the past two years Yet this year they've had their share of problems during the off-season. Their main American import only arrived just last week and their star centre, Ray Borner, is out injured. As Mark Chester reports, though, this club has talented backup and he warns, beware the wounded hawk. Keep the case. Stay with it. Yeah, gotta keep it up. Despite the fact the Illawarra Hawks took NBL champions Brisbane Bullets to three games in last year's semi-finals, already many judges are dismissing the Hawks as a threat in 88. But if you happen to be in town, the best advice is don't even hint at that theory. Wollongong, like all the regional cities in the NBL, like nothing better than to knock off the tall poppies in the forms of the Brisbane's, the Sydney's and the Perth's of the competition. And when a visiting team comes to the infamous Beaton Park snake pit, they know they can expect a hostile reception. Fanatical fans have been intimidating the opposition for years in the gong. To say the Hawks are a 10-point better team with their home crowd behind them would be pretty close to the mark. Although North Melbourne defied the odds and the parochial snake pit punters to defeat Illawarra by the narrowest of margins in their opening NBL match. All those games you have to consider we, we play without Ray. So losing by one point, I think our team's done quite well considering uh, Ray hasn't been there. And while Borner, the boomer's big centre, intimidates cameraman and carefully nurses ligament damage in his right leg, the onus is on Warwick Giddy to help fill the biggest shoes in the game. At six foot six and 20 years old, Giddy is potentially a great, but giving away inches and years to opponents week after week in the NBL is just about the toughest school around. Now one year older, one year wiser, I think we're, we're going to be a lot, lot stronger, a lot uh, smarter this year, just through the fact that we've had that one year experience and I, I think we've got really big things come from our bench. The Hawks' biggest headache in the off-season has been securing a second import. Original choice, Buster Whitney, didn't measure up. That's where Gary Gaspard stepped in. From San Antonio, Texas, Gaspard has played basketball in Mexico and Argentina. It's his first time in Australia, immediately making a big impression. Covering the unaccustomed power forward role, Gaspard rammed home 25 points in his first game. Coming here and, and it being, uh, you know, the number one sport actually here uh, in Wollongong, I can't say in Australia, but in Wollongong, it's really a surprise and it's a... Uh, it's, uh, so it's also a warm feeling, you know. Uh, you can go out there and work hard uh, with the fans behind you and my teammates also. The biggest impression on Gaspard has been made by the Hawks NBL Coach of the Year in 87 and master tactician David Lindstrom. On, on a made basket, we're coming down in our double low. And on a made or a missed basket, we're coming in our 1-3-1. One, one. We're always breaking on a miss into a 1-3-1 one, one, and that'll just go into triangle. OK, where we pass and go away, because they've got to try to match with what we're doing on the inside, and they're not going to be able to do that. My short time here, I feel um, that Dave is, um, is really an intelligent person. Um, that's both on and off the court. He handles things very well. The Illawarra is a curiosity in a way. Its sports fans support the region, no particular sport. Players from Wollongong City soccer team, the Illawarra Steelers league team, and the Hawks are idolised and the players give back to the people, even to the point of being involved in promotions, which may be entertaining for the crowd, but can only result in embarrassment for the victim. Along with the Wolves and the Illawarra Steelers, uh, the, the Hawks are a big, big hit in Illawarra, and, and the community likes a, a winning, winning team, and especially a winning sporting team, and, and they're really great for us, and they get behind us, and it's going to be great to be able to go out there and sort of contribute something back towards it. Young Giddy is one of those gifted guys that could be good at anything he tries his hand at. An international at schoolboy level in not only basketball, but rugby league and rugby union, Warwick is right now specialising in the round ball game, but has not ruled out playing football sometime in the future. I chose basketball simply for the fact that I wanted to go to a junior world championships. And uh, that ambition uh, came, came through for me last year when I went to the world junior championships with the Australian under 21 side. And uh, yeah, that was my main goal. And, and maybe in a couple of years I might see myself maybe having to go out league or, or rugby union for that sake. But first things first, and Giddy's immediate goal is to win the NBL title. 
Sure, Illawarra would be underdogs, but Wollongong thrives on that kind of image. The melting pot that is the Hawks, with Coach Lindstrom stirring the ingredients, Illawarra should not be underestimated. Yeah, having a look at uh, some of those...